How you doing out there today, my friend? This is your favorite entrepreneur, Mr. Antonio Entrepreneur Millhouse, reporting live from my lovely home today here in Decatur, Georgia on today. I'm so excited and I hope you are as well. But I definitely wanted to cut this video today and just share with you the top 10 reasons working for someone else is not smart. All right. The top 10 reasons why working for someone else is not smart. So I'm definitely going to go through a few slides very quickly and briefly, and I'm going to share with you the top 10 reasons why working for someone else is not smart. So let's get started, all right? So now this is reason number 10, my friend, and the reason why working for someone else is just absolutely not smart is simply because you will spend 90,000 hours of your life working for someone else so you'll get a gold watch and a really cool part-time job at Walmart as a people's greeter. <laughs> right and I understand that most reasons when people retire they have to end up going back to work they don't really live that retirement lifestyle see I don't think that's retirement when you retire the first time and then you have to go back to work for somebody else and then be a people's greeter at that that's just not smart my friend so let's move it on to reason number nine alright so reason number nine my friend you working 40 hours a week you spend 2,000 hours a year working for your employer. In exchange, you get 80 hours of vacation time absolutely free. See, I believe it's time for us to break out of that 40-40-40 plan where you're working 40 hours a week, all right, for 40 years and retiring off of 40% of what you could live off of in the first place. And then I understand that most people can't live off 100%, all right? So that's just absolutely not smart. Reason number eight. Let's just say it's been a rough day. You at home relaxing, watching America's Most Wanted on TV. And to your horror, you realize the babysitter that you leave your precious child or your kids with every single day is on FBI Top 10 Most Wanted list. See, I understand that most parents really don't like to leave their child with someone else. And parents and most parents would like to spend as much quality time with their kids instead of having to leave their child with someone else and leaving their child in someone else's hand. See, I hope this doesn't ha happen to any other parents that's taking a look at this. But that's just reason number eight, so let's move it on to reason number seven. All right, as you can see on this picture, this guy's pissed. <laughs> He's angry like he has road rage. And this is reason number seven. You get up when you don't want to. You drive someplace you don't want to go and make a living working with people you really don't like or people you just don't stand. Right? What? Imagine you waking up when you finish sleeping. Imagine working with people that you care and love. People that doesn't really tick you off. People that you really want to work with. Just imagine if you had the option, which you really do. And I'm going to share with you that. But just imagine you being able to do that instead of having to wake up early in the morning and going into a job that you really don't like and working with people you just can't stand. All right. So let's move it on to reason number seven. I mean, reason number six. All right. So question. If you didn't really have to uh, wear the uniform that your job provides and tell you that you have to wear every single day, my question to you is, would you be wearing something absolutely different if they didn't tell you how to dress? And I'm quite sure 100% of everyone would say, yes, if I can really go to work and dress the way that I really want to dress, then yes, that would be great. But unfortunately, in most jobs, you really don't have that option. So you have to wear what they tell you to wear. See, you have to, you know, you can't keep taking that, all right? <laughs> So reason number five, as you see on this picture of of my mentor, most people don't like him, Donald Trump. <laughs> as you can see, the word says, you're fired. Okay? So now, your company may think it's really cool to let you go, but in Newsweek magazine, it says that firing people has got to be a trendy in corporate America. See, I tell people this all the time. Do not... Just keep your hope and your faith in just your job because your job is just not um, secure. And so you always have to have a plan B, C, D, E, F, all the way to Z. Because just imagine if you was to lose your job today, God forbid, my question to you is, will you have a plan B, C, D, all the way to Z? Would you have something in place to fall forward on? All right. So let's move it on. Reason number four. All right. 
This one is one of my favorite ones. Asking for time off is too much like asking your parents for permission. I mean, understand this. Why should we or why do most people have to ask a grown person for permission whether they want to spend time with their kids, whether they have to ask permission to go on vacation? Like, I feel that you shouldn't have to ask another grown man or grown person for permission to be able to spend time with your kids, enjoy that quality time with your family on vacation, um, you know, just really live in life. I feel that you shouldn't have to ask for permission. And so do you. You shouldn't have to ask for permission from another grown person. All right? Now, reason number three. This is the good news. Okay? You survived the downsizing on your job. But the bad news is, my friend, the bad news is that you have to go home and tell your family that you're being transferred to Banguidish. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> but just imagine... Like they wouldn't that's not a good idea because you survived the downsizing, and now you have to be transferred to go somewhere else overseas and put in work. Now you're away from your family and your kids. I mean, that's just not cool at all, family. That is not cool, my friend. That's absolutely not cool. So you have an option and a choice to really live the free life. So reason number two, as you can see, is a picture of an elephant. We'll work for pay we'll work for peanuts. See, I understand that elephants work for peanuts. So why should you, my friend? Shouldn't you really be getting paid what you're really worth? Ask yourself that today. Ask yourself, are you worth more than seven twenty five an hour? Fifteen seventeen dollars an hour? Are you really worth more than what your job is really paying you? Okay? You gotta ask yourself that. And reason number one, this is the big one. Number one reason why working for someone else is just plain dumb. Absolutely, I said it. It's just plain dumb. Yes, this is America, and you don't have to. Yes, America is still the land of great opportunity, but it's just not the same place where you're used to looking. You know, people who work half as hard as you do are earning great part-time incomes, they taking dream vacations and even making fistful of money. So what is your excuse for not building your own successful business? Only thing you have to lose and all you have to got to lose is up a boss. I mean, guys, you have the option to become your own boss, to really live the dream. Feel free to take that dream, nice, exotic vacation with you and your family. Just really live that abundant lifestyle. Instead of being under someone else's umbrella, doing what they're asking you to do. You know, that's, that's not fair. And this is a bonus tip that I want to share with you on today, my friend. Right? This is a special bonus. And I just want to read this quote to my far left. It says that if you don't build your dreams, someone else will hire you to build theirs. And that is absolutely true. So now, my question to you is, why work for someone else when you can work for yourself and doing something that you love? Hmm. Just ponder on that for a second, my friend. Just ponder on that for a second. Why work for someone else when you can work for yourself doing something that you truly, truly love? All right. So, guys. This is your favorite entrepreneur, Mr. Antonio, Entrepreneur Millhouse. I really hope you got some value from this video. Please feel free to share it around with your team on Facebook, Twitter. Comment below this video. Let me know what you thought of this presentation. I love to hear your feedback. Comment below. Also, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates and trainings and more valuable content like this. So with that being said, my friend, have a blessed day by default, and I'll see you again. God bless.